So welcome to the demo of the grid tie in inverter feeding power output into a load. And what I have is I have 15 pieces of 10K 10 watt resistors all in parallel in a bank here. So that gives me about 150 watts and then we'll be running it at about 75 or 80 watts. And that resistance equals 673 ohms. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn everything on, and i can show you how this, this functions. So first, let's start off by displaying the grid on channel 1 here. That's my, uh, that's directly from the grid. Um, you can see here that it's reading on the AC energy meter. That's the voltage. The AC power is coming in, 30.3. Zero power right now, zero current. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the unit. All right, unit is now on. So with the relay off, meaning the load is not connected, I'm going to start to bring the power up. I'll show you the waveform. Okay, so bring this up, and you can see this waveform is pretty square. And then it comes up, and it rounds a little bit at the top. You can see that spiking. That, that spiking on the zero crosses is due to the inductor because of the wave shape and the inductor you get this spiking. Okay, so I'm going to bring it up a little higher, right? So if we were going to uh, grid tie right now, you'd want to make sure that the output of the inverter is higher than the grid so that when it closes, um, that you're definitely not feeding back. So because we're in the load right now, I'm going to close the switch. Okay, now it's loaded down. Okay, so you can see that um, it's 44 volts. So now we can bring this up. Okay, so now we can bring this up higher, and you can see it's a pretty decent sine wave. And the voltage is coming up on the meter, 145 volts AC. Uh, we're about 38 watts DC coming in, 1.2 amps. So we continue on up. Okay, and what basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap this. Right. So here we're probably right around a 75, 78 watts on that resistor load. I'll bring it up a little bit more because we're not going to leave it here long. Just to show you that it overlays. So you can see the phase lock loop is, is controlling it. It's keeping it in phase. Um, we're putting 100 watts basically in right now and getting about 80 watts out. Um, I don't have the meter connected, so I can't. we'll see it when we're grid tied, but right now you can only just do the calculation. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring down the power. Okay, I'm just going to do this so I can bring it down a little bit faster. Okay. And bring this down. You can see how smoothly it adjusts. And the duty cycle here is going from about, um, it's going from zero to about, I have it limited to 60%. So when it's operating, it's only around 50%, 55% is 100 watts. So it's very smooth adjust, as you can see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a grid tie test. We'll actually be grid tying here. So the first thing we're going to do is let's turn on our AC voltage. We're displaying that. Second thing we'll do is we will turn on power supply. Okay, so we're at 30.3 volts and 231 volts. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll switch the meter to power. So right now AC power is zero. Okay, so we'll turn on the inverter. Now what we're going to do just as before, before we grid tie we got to make sure that we have enough voltage coming out. So we'll bring this up. 
and we'll bring it up just a little higher. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grid tie. So I'm going to turn on the close the relay and now we're connected to the grid. Okay. And you can see that it collapsed right to the grid. Power is still zero. We're drawing about 4.8 watts. Okay, so now I'm going to bring up the power. Okay, you can see the power meter is now increasing. Okay, and we'll bring this up to about, let's bring it up to about 50 watts. Okay, so we're at 20, 25, 29, 31, 32, bring it up. Okay, so right here we're coming up, we're around 50 watts, a little bit over. All right, let's bring it down just a hair. Okay, 50 watts. Okay, and we're putting in 61. So we're actually at 50.8 and 61.5. Okay, so let's keep on going. Let's look at the, let's look at the, uh, so there's the reflected power, and then here's your power factor. So 0.99 even at 50 watts. And then 220 milliamps is the current. 230 volts, so still at 50 watts. Okay, so let's bring this, let's bring it up to 100 watts. And you can see that we're at 80, 93, 98, 99, there we go. So there's 101 watts and 9 watts reflected, which is still 0.99 power factor. And current is 430 milliamps, RMS. Okay, and we're doing about 118, 119 watts with 100 watts coming out. So I think that's around 83 or 84% efficient. Um, so there it is. Grid tying. Now I'm going to bring this down. So in order to disconnect now, we have to bring this back down to zero because we wouldn't want to disconnect this point because without a, without a load, this thing would... The voltage would shoot up and probably burn everything out. So you got to make sure you're down. So I'm going to bring this down. You can see how low we can go before it drops out, right? So we'll bring it down. Okay, we're at about 11 watts. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We can get it up to about 2.4. There it is, zero. Okay, and we got about 6.9 watts. Okay, so if I close the switch now, you'll see the voltage. And you can see where the voltage is sitting. So I'll just bring this down. Bring it down to zero. And that's it. Turn off the power. And done so in part two what we're going to go over is the um, the actual uh, hooking up of a solar panel to this and letting it automatically um, do maximum power point tracking and control the current automatically so the only thing that will the, the grid tie will do is um, when you turn on the unit and you'll have manual control we'll be able to turn it on and grid tire but then it'll be automatic so uh, everything will be controlling and the solar panel will be providing power so that'll be in part two um, hopefully I'll get that out sometime in the next few weeks so hope you look forward to that